back again. Jack Farr is uh, with us. Uh, Grover Washington Jr. will uh, be playing for us a little bit more in the show. Listen, also. I, 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 uh, I've been here long enough. But what I want to do is uh, just show you something I think might be amusing. All right. Might be interesting. You know nothing about it. I know. Okay. But now I'm going to show you something that he knows nothing about. Only two people know about it. The director who knows about it. And you come with me. Yes, sir. Boy. Now, I never won any, a lot of awards. But I have something that's so rare and so touching to me that, and I think funny to you. Just trust me, it is true, it is honest, it, I'm not a phony. Come. Cover me, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't come back, God love you. Well, this is exciting. This is the hallway. Yeah. This is the hallway. Yeah. Now, can, can they hear me? I hope they can. Oh, yeah, me. we can all, sure. And this is, this is the hallway. That was my studio over there. And then, look, here's a great... Come here once, Dave. Here's a picture of you. Oh, my. Yeah, this, is look a, here. this was taken in prison, Here's actually. a picture. <laughs> this is, yes, this is an unbelievable uh, yeah, it's photograph. Yeah, that's a great shot. I didn't know show. that was... And this guy was so wonderful, Charlie yep. Weaver. Cliff Arquette. Yeah. Terrific. And apparently NBC has forgotten this poor devil because look how they spelled his name. Yeah. Tom <laughs> Sindor or something. I don't... Anyhow, come You here. know, the haircut never seems to go out of style. Yeah, yeah. Come, come, come. All right. Now, listen. Poor Tom. It's not fair to be saying Where? things about Tom. Oh. Now, this, this is the hallway I would walk every night. This is the hallway that uh, Liza Minnelli uh, yelled in. This is, about here is where I found Dick Cavett. He was waiting for me, a little kid, right. with his little joke. He wrote for you for a while? Yes, Dick yeah. Cavett. Okay. Now, this was my office. Come here. <laughs> this was my, this was my office. Now, they keep dogs and it's a jump in. It's just nothing. It's, it's, but come here. All right. Now, among the many acts I found and helped in show business, among the many, used this dressing room. Right. One an act one night that now became, that now is very famous. And while I said I never had any awards and was not considered much uh, by many people, the point is when I open this door, you'll see a tribute that was made to me that nobody has seen in 20 years. As a matter of fact, Bob Mulholland, the president of NBC, was here this morning. They had to open this door. This actually was a series of, uh, of steam valves. And this little act that was on my show for the first time, had never been on television, were so nervous, waiting to go on, that they decorated something. I swear to you, this is true. This has not been seen in 20 years. Oh, that's amazing. It says, with love. The Muppets. Yeah. Jim Henson did all of this stuff? Jim Henson did all of that in, uh, just before the show. Yeah. And it's the only honor I really have. I oh, can't take it home. This is unbelievable. At least we got a chance to show it. Yeah, that's terrific. Can now, you go any closer? Now, how long did you keep this poor man waiting in here, Jack? <laughs> this, this is like a decade this of work. Has, this has not been seen in 20 years. NBC had the door locked, and I don't think anyone knew what it was. Yeah. Just how Gurney and I knew about it. Oh, that's terrific. So, listen, uh, uh, you have a... This is valuable plumbing now, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, that's very nice. It was good seeing you, Jack. Good seeing you, Jack. Uh, thank you for ha having me on. Uh, have a and, good holiday. And, and thank your audience very much. NBC is chopping this place apart. There's always some construction going on here. And the other day, some workmen with sledgehammers were knocking down a wall, and they found some pipes. And they said, you sure you want us to take, take these pipes out of here? Because these were very special pipes. Now, will you look at this? And the man standing next to the pipes is Jim Henson. Hi, Jim. What yes. is this? Good morning. What is this cave we're in here? This is, well, as you can see, folks, there's a lot of building going on here. It's very strange because this was our dressing room when we, when we were here doing the, uh, the Jack Parr show. And that was about, uh, I don't know, 17, 18 years ago. And this was, this was uh, the, a, a closet that was here in the dressing room. And we just opened the door one morning and we saw the, the pipes, which, which we thought were very funny. And, uh, and so, so you we, started to paint them? So we started to paint them. You always carry paints with the gym whenever you go out? Well, let's see. You know, it was one of those, it's a variety show, and it, it, in between the dress rehearsal and air, you usually have a couple of hours to kill. And so we went back across town and got uh, some old fur fabric and paints and stuff like that. And look at this, folks. Here we have a pipe. This is a, a I have a flashlight here because I want to show you some of the stuff in here. You can see this dark closet. Here's a, a handle on this pipe, which becomes the nose, right, of this guy. Right. Where did you get the hair? Well, it's uh, most, I think it's fur fabric. There's one piece down here. See this one right here? See right here, folks? That, that fur fabric right there. That's a piece of the original Grover. 
Really? Yeah, yeah it's a Grover. That's, Grover? That's, that's Grover Memorial. Memorial right there, yes. And here you have sort of hieroglyphics. Yes. Can you see all that right on there? I don't know what that means. Hieroglyph and here we have some people. And down here, very much on the bottom. Uh, can the camera see down there where my flashlight is? Read what that says. Uh, that's with with the love yes. from the Muppets. Right. If you had dated it, our archaeological <laughs> expedition could have been really right on the money. We would have known exactly when you did it, you that's see. They, they didn't date the pyramids either, though. There's no dates in there. There's a carbon dating system they <laughs> might be able to use here. But, uh, we also it's, it's so strange. When we did it, we thought, uh, well, they told us. We, we were just going to do it and sneak out and not tell anybody. And, uh, and then they found it immediately. And, uh, and they said, well, it's very cute, but we'll paint it out tomorrow. You know, and, and so at all times they've been saying they're going to paint, paint it out and get rid of it. They will never paint it out. I would like it to know that NBC <laughs> has, is making this into a museum. This is going to be here, Jim, in your honor forevermore. The Jim Henson Memorial Pipes. Even in the fuse box up there, there's a sun. All the whole back wall is drawn. This is really, really remarkable. We're going to keep it. I want you to know we're never going to turn off these faucets. That was 1980. We're happy to tell you after all these years, Jim Henson's pipes are still here. This was part of a dressing room for the Jack Parr show back in the early 60s when Henson left his mark. These days, the space is occupied by Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Still a remarkable sight after all these years. And we go around the corner. Yeah, we were shuttled back here. Holy cow! <laughs> Holy cow, look at this. Holy cow. Now, I know something that you don't know. Holy cow. See down there, that black spot? Yeah. Jack Parr people put a black spot on it. Because Jim, being Jim, he's a, he was just for fun, he was represented by William Morris at that time. And he, down there, he wrote, represented by William Morris. <laughs> <laughs> and then the par people painted that black. Wow. Order, they, so they didn't want that on the air. Wow. <laughs> oh, isn't that fantastic? I'm so, so pleased because I'm the last man standing here. And it was Jim Henson, Don Saline, and, and Jerry Jewell here. Uh, that's great. That's great. I'm glad the, uh, the hair's still there. Doesn't this do it justice, though? It's fantastic. I'm thrilled. Finally. I'm, I'm thrilled. And it's also... It's evocative of a less corporate time when the spirit of anarchy was uh, a bit more exactly land, when you, you know? can paint pipes in an office building. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and and it was it was Jim's idea because uh, we were just hanging around for three hours doing nothing uh, between uh, dress and air. But so. as as someone who raised two children on Sesame Street, I look here and I see the germ, yeah, the start of the the characters and faces we came to love. Well, I can tell you who, what, I can tell you right now what Jim did and what he didn't do. Jim did not do that one, I can tell. That's Don Saline, who made the puppets originally. He did that one. Uh, and uh, the other stuff here with the intricate stuff, Jim always loved the intricate stuff here like that. Uh, this is very much Jim's there. Oh, God, that's very, that's fantastic. I'm so happy it's here. I'm so happy because it speaks of a, a, a very simpler, simpler time and and, sure and, and, and 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 what the Muppets really are, which is really affectionate anarchy, you know, and that's what it is. And people in their own right, uh, they are all such individuals. We've all come to know them having such distinct personalities. You know, we know what makes them happy and sad. We know how they how they react to each other. Oh, Looks my, oh my God, I remember I, I did that. What did you do? Oh, I just did a little mother heart there. My God. Well, you know what happened was we were doing the, sh the par show first or second time. I don't know what it was. And I remember, yeah, the dressing room was pretty small. Um, and at that time, we weren't involved in Sesame Street or anything. We did commercials, and we were doing going from television show to television show doing two-minute, three-minute bits. And that's what we do, from the par show to the Sullivan show to name it. And we were here, uh, and... I remember opening the door and scared me because it was all dark and it was all these wild pipes. <clears throat> and then I think we, we did uh, the dress and we had to hang around for about a few hours. We came back and Jim said, hey, let's paint it. Of course. <laughs> and so our studio was at 53rd and 2nd at that time. I think we had two, only had two rooms. And uh, Jim went back with us. We, we all raided the boxes of noses and wigs and hair and paint and brought it back here and then and what was funny was that you know we went on 
and close the door. Nobody knew about it until later later in the, in the week. And um, Parshall then, after the week after our performance, came in with the cameras and showed this to the audience. I think he got better reception on our performance. <laughs> I think you're being modest. It's great. I'm just. I so mean, it happy. goes way up. There's your, your mother. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the mother heart was you. <laughs> and it, it includes the wall. Yeah, well, that's in the back. The power box, the conduit. Oh yeah, well, that's Jim. Jim loved details, and uh, he. Uh, it's just great because Jim and Don and Jerry. Don saw me made the characters. Jim was kind of the boss. I was a performer. Jerry Jewell was a writer, and they're all gone. And um, yeah, I'm just so pleased this represents them. Well, That's great. They'd love to know this. Uh, thank NBC for doing this. They'd love to know this. And now people get to see it. It'll be preserved forever. With love. From the Muppets. From the Muppets. Yeah. Nineteen sixty four. That uh, that's when that was painted. Nineteen sixty four. That was fifty years ago. Almost half a century ago. Uh, let, me, let me explain. Okay, we are right now in a small dressing room that used to be the dressing room for the Jack Parr show, a very popular show many years ago. Okay? Now, before the Muppets became the Muppets on the Muppet Show, Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock, Saturday Night Live, all that. We used to go from show to show at Sullivan Show, Hollywood Palace at, at that time. And this time we were on the Jack Parr show doing just a two minute number, a musical number. And this time we had just finished dress rehearsal and we came back and we had three or four hours to spare. And I actually, I, when I came back, I saw this closet. There was a door here. It was a closet at one time. And I opened the door and holy cow, I, it was like all dark and dingy and rusted pipes and black and brown it was really almost scared me but but jim being jim saw it differently and he said hey you know what we got the time let's, let's paint them so that's what we did we went to our workshop got some paints and some hair and some eyes and everything and we spent about three or four hours just painting this i know <laughs> and uh then afterwards we just closed the door we did the show and then we packed up and we left and we thought that this was going to be just painted over the next day. But what happened now is they've kept it all these years. And it is now on the NBC tour here in Rockefeller Center. And the reason this is so important to me is because this is the spirit of the Muppets and the spirit of Jim. Now, the people who actually painted the pipes were Jim Henson, who was about 28 years old here, Jerry Jewell, the head writer, me with hair, and Don Saline, who built the puppets. I promise you now the funniest two minutes you could possibly see anywhere. Are you ready? The Muppets.
So I always heard the story that, you know, um, Jim Henson and Frank Oz were here um, doing the Muppets on Jack Parr, and they were bored, uh, they were waiting to go on, and they uh, opened up this, just a, a storage closet, and they started painting the pipes ah. uh, to look like Muppet. And we put eyeballs on it and stuff like that. And um, they kept the pipes here, but it was in Max Weinberg's dressing room when Max was here with Conan O'Brien. Right. So we'd have to knock on the door and go and say, hey, Max, sorry, I'm here with my mom and dad. Can I go look at him? He's like, come on in. You know? He was a nice guy. But uh, So anyways, when I got the show, I said, we have to make this part of a, a tour or something that people can see. So we actually opened up the closet. Ah, here they are. Wow. And, and made it into a, uh, yeah. Ah, look at that. Gosh. Isn't that wild? So and Hanson and Oz did this. Yeah, wow. so down there with love from the Muppets. And this is back when the Muppets, Kermit wasn't famous at this point. Uh -huh. I mean, he's brand new. They, wow. did, they just started this. So, so what year are we talking about, approximately, would you 64. guess? 64. Okay. 1964. Uh, but it's super cool. I mean, that, I think that, that fur right there around this pipe here is uh -huh. the original Grover. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's Grover's this fur. This is very cool. Isn't that wild? Yeah. I mean, that you'd be that creative. Look at the eyeballs even back there, and they just... They just were creative and paint went, they went down to the village and got some paints and came back and did it up and, you know. Before they were large. Yeah, I mean, oh, this is gosh. like, so we, we actually, they, we brought Frank Oz down here to look at it and he couldn't believe that it still existed. You know, he's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, but it was in a closet. Yeah. It was in a door in a dressing room. And right. this was not a, this was not a, a hallway, this was not something that people could see, so he was very impressed. Nice, very nice.